What's up, Huntington Beach? Welcome to The Wreck Report. I'm your host, Scott Getman. And I'm Molly Umara. Today, we are back at the beach, hanging out at our brand new all-inclusive playground. And we're gonna be talking about this 4,600 square foot marvel behind me, as well as a few of our special events coming up in the month of June. Scott, I hope you continue to tune in every month to see how parks make life better and enhance the quality of life in Huntington Beach. Today, Molly and I are here in front of the brand new all-inclusive playground. It's a windy day, but beautiful nonetheless. The all-inclusive playground is located on PCH and 9th Street. Any new playground in our community is so exciting, but what's particularly special about this one is that it was designed by Dave Bang and Associates to be completely accessible for all children. What that means is that all of the play structures you see behind us have been specifically designed to enable children with wheelchairs to be able to access them so children of all abilities can enjoy this beautiful playground behind us. In addition, the entire flooring is surfaced with rubber in order to be ADA compliant. We are thrilled that this playground allows children of all abilities to enjoy a special day at the beach. And it wouldn't be possible without a little bit of help. So of course we want to thank our partners in this endeavor, the Surf City Rotary and Kiwanis Club of Huntington Beach. We want to thank them as well as a very generous community member that donated $40,000. With their help, the city was able to make this playground come to fruition. And we just want to shout out them, thank them for all their help. This playground is open between the hours of 6 a.m. and 10 p.m., which is the beach curfew hours. If you'd like more information, please feel free to contact the Community Services Department at 714-536-5486. Well, we're so excited to have a playground on the beach for the, the kids. We love what everyone's doing to keep the youth in the community, and we're so happy to be here in Huntington Beach on a beautiful day. And actually, thanks for all of our electeds for doing such a great job, making sure that they're keeping the youth happy. So that's what I'm really happy about for first-time moms. I can't believe that it's already June, but that means that it's time for our annual pier swim. This year, the pier swim is taking place on Saturday, June 9th, of course, south side of the pier. There are three different race times to accommodate over 200 swimmers in many different age divisions. Awards are given out to the top three finishers in each age division, as well as the Jean Belshi Memorial Perpetual Trophy is provided to the swim team with the overall highest score. Last year, the award went to Swim Long Beach, so we'll see who it goes to this year. Now, pre-registration for this event has filled, but not to worry. If you're interested in participating, you can sign up the day of the event starting at 7 a.m. It's $25, and also t-shirts will be available while supplies last for $10. This is really a great event, not just for swimmers, but for spectators as well. I personally love standing up on the pier, watching them race into the water and race all the way around the pier to come up on the other side of the finish line. This is a great event, so we hope that you come out and support it. If you'd like more information about watching or participating in the event, please contact Edison Community Center, 714-960-8870. Parks make life safer. Parks really do make life better and make you tired too. Here at the Community Services Department, we're always looking for new, fun and exciting events to put on for our community. And this month, we have that event. On June 21st, the City Gym and Pool is going to be a host site for the world's largest swim lesson. Yes, that's right, you heard me correctly. June 21st, the City Gym and Pool will be a host site for the world's largest swim lesson. What's particularly exciting about this event is this is not only a Huntington Beach event, this is a worldwide event that we're excited to just be a small part of. The purpose of the event is to bring together thousands of communities to participate in swim lessons over a 24 hour period on the same day, which is June 21st. What's exciting is that what we're trying to do is bring awareness to childhood drowning and the importance of getting your children in the water early to learn the skills of water safety. And being a beach city, this cause is very near and dear to our hearts, and we're thrilled to help promote water safety. Lessons will take place from 6 to 8 p.m. that day, every half an hour. And best of all, the whole thing is free. If you'd like more information, please call the City Gym and Pool at 714-960-8884. Or if you'd like to register, you can go on our website at hbsands.org. All right, and last but certainly not least, 
on Friday, June 22nd, the Huntington Beach Council on Aging, or HBCOA, is hosting their annual golf tournament taking place at Meadowlark Golf Course. Get ready because this is an all-day event. It starts with registration and a putting contest, followed by a barbecue lunch. Then at 12 p.m., the real fun starts with the shotgun start. The tournament is scramble format and will conclude with a buffet dinner at the golf course with a no-host bar. And as if you needed more encouragement to attend this event, during dinner, there will be raffle prizes, door prizes, and some excellent auction items available, so be sure to check this out. If you're interested in participating, whether a player, vendor, or sponsor, be sure to visit hbcoa.org for more information. All right, Surf City, that's all we have for the month of June. Molly, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go take advantage of this playground. As always, Scott and I hope that you come out to all of our events and check out everything we have to offer the month of June. Until next time, though, remember, parks, parks make, make life better. better.